everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate our control panels that we have for our managed cloud hosting and kind of give you an overview of how everything works so it's not complicated. So NameHero.com is partnered with Webhost Manager and cPanel. And Webhost Manager and cPanel is actually one application that's installed already for you on our cloud and it manages everything so you don't have to worry about um, knowing any kind of code you don't have to know how to use a console or SSH commands everything is done right from your own browser there's no need to have um, an IT guy you can do everything inside your browser and I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy that whole process can be so let's just first take a look at how everything works here using this network diagram Okay, so the, the first thing we want to look at, and let me grab a, a, a pen here, um, is the name Hero Manage Cloud. So this is where everything is controlled. This is this is the cloud right here. So down here, these are the users. And so this is an iPad and a phone and a computer. This is the visitors visiting your website. They access the cloud. Okay, now over here to the left, all this this illustrates how the control panels are set up. So you have Web Host Manager. And this is what you primarily control your whole hosting account with Name Hero from, is you open up Web Host Manager. Now, each domain or account that you add to your hosting account has cPanel. So you can see this controls, Web Host Manager controls everything, but then each website has its own cPanel. Okay, so as my example here, I listed site1.com, it's got its own cPanel. Site2.com, it's got its own cPanel. Site3.com has its own cPanel. Now, where this comes in um, handy is when you have different employees for each one of these websites. You might own a company, you might own three companies, and you want each one of those companies to have their own website. Well, each site, each company obviously has its own employees, and you don't want to allow everyone into everything. So you would just have yourself the web host manager log in, and then you would assign um, each user their privileges for each cPanel. And that's very easy to do. Um, so the way you want to look at it is web host manager is the central control unit and cPanel is the sub control panel for each site. So I've made a couple slides here that kind of explain a little more. Web host manager is the central control panel for the entire account. This is where you add new domains to your name hero hosting account. This is where you add new websites. This is where you configure general services. Um, and I'm, I'll show you a couple examples of that. And this is where you assign the user's access, manager's SSL certificates, and also where you can manage some of your scripts. <clears throat> okay, uh, cPanel, this is an individual control panel for each domain um, set up on the general hosting account. This is where the domain, you can upload files to that domain. You can set up email accounts, email forwards, um, all kinds of, all, all, everything with your email for that domain inside that cPanel. Uh, this is also where you set up the MySQL databases, the MySQL users, and all the permissions of the MySQL for that individual website. This is also where you do the one-click installs. So, for example, WordPress, Jamula, the Revive Ad Server, these are all one-click installs, but if you want to install it on the domain, you do it through the cPanel. So let's take a quick look inside the actual cPanel so we can get an idea of where we are. Okay, so to first access your web host manager, you do that from NameHero. So on your screen right now is the NameHero.com domain management portal. You will basically click login to WHM. This is how you begin accessing the entire platform. Okay, so you can see this is web host manager. Now, most of the time, you're not going to have to do much in here at all. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with Web Host Manager, or if maybe all these options intimidate you, don't worry about it. You only have to use it very sparingly, and it's really just to add the domains. All this other stuff we can handle for you, or we do handle for you. Um, but you do have access if you're a little bit more technical and want to go through these, you can, and, and we're here to answer any questions that you might have. But the majority of you out here using NameHero.com Manage Hosting, all you need to know how to do is add accounts. So the only thing that you have to do before you can add accounts is add a package. And we have we go over this in a couple different videos, but what I like to do is the package just tells how much the account can use. So we can just type in basic. And then I, what I like to do is if it's my company's accounts and I'm not a web agency and I'm not assigning customers to all these accounts, I like to set this just at 999, which is going to give it pretty much unlimited. Or not going to pretty much, that is going to give it unlimited. Um, and set this here. Um, as soon as I do that, then I can just add it. 
Okay, and you can see we've already we already have this package in here in the system, so um, it's not going to save. But um, when you want to create an account, you would just go right here. When you want to create a new domain, and you would add it in here, and you would select the package. Okay. Now this account is um, just allows for one site, so we can't add any more domains. Um, but if it if you order more than the business package, then you can add um, several different um, domains depending on the package. Uh, this is where you do it all though. So now we're going to go to list accounts and this is a screen you're probably going to use the most because this is where you access the cPanel for each site. Now, so what we can do is we can look, we have namehero.org, we can click cPanel link here and it just takes a second to redirect and now we are in the namehero.org cPanel. So this is a control just for namehero.org and you can see we can do numerous things for the domain such as the file manager and all these options up here, um, image galleries, I don't know how much people use that really, but directory privacy, um, the backups and um, you go down we've got phpMyAdmin and you can also add subdomains on inside of, a, inside of here. So let's just say we have namehero.org and let's say we buy namehero.net we want to add it on here. We can set up an add-on domain just like that. Um, I recommend though if you're going to have a production site every new domain gets added inside of web host manager. That's what that's what I like to see. That's the how to host unlimited websites the correct way which you'll see in other tutorials that we have. Um, but you can scroll down here and you can see the email. This is where you would manage all the email for this domain. We come pre-installed with Cloudflare so this is where you would enable Cloudflare for that particular domain name. Um, down here you can see we've got our reporting and some security stuff, um, the software, and you can see we even have a link to Webhost Manager in here. So if you want to go back to it, you can actually click inside of there. Um, but if you go down here to the bottom, you can see here's the app installer. And here's where you can install all these pieces of software in one click. And there's separate tutorials all throughout the namehero.com blog on how to do that, on how to install WordPress. And you can see we've actually logged ourselves out. But in a nutshell, that's how everything works. Is web host managers a central control panel, and then cPanel is a sub control panel for each domain. All you really need web host manager is to add domains and it's it's a very simple and easy process to add all your domains in here and then to access each cPanel individually. So that's going to sum, sum this up. If you have any questions feel free to reach out and let us know. Um, if there's something that you need help doing or just don't quite understand or can't wrap your brain around it just submit us a ticket and we're more than happy to do everything for you. We're, we are a complete managed host but so for those of you that you know really want to take control of your domains or really take control of your servers you can do everything yourself. So again if you have any questions let us know. Other than that thanks a bunch for watching. We greatly look forward to serving you and helping your business grow.